Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner, so you can finally afford GPUs. The prices are crashing down, and you're getting your hands on some of these premium parts. But should you mine? Is mining easy? We're gonna dive into all this, but first, let's spin that intro. Welcome! Today we're going to deviate a bit from the normal and we're going to discuss a topic that I've had on the docket for a couple of months and that topic is mining is easy. This here is the Grunt build. It's a 12 by RX 6600 XT rig. You can check out the build video on this up above. This is here because this is offline for repair. So after I built this guy, I had Mad Electron go ahead and I switched it over to Hive and then I had Mad Electron retune it real nice and efficient. And then of course, R mode came out. So then I let him experiment with R mode and now I can't get this thing up and running. So I got six cards running. I got some dead risers. I just, a ton of troubleshooting. I'm gonna get this thing working. And so what this all boils down to is this rig fail is what has spurred me to go ahead and tackle today's subject. Today's video is more geared toward any new miners, potential miners, and maybe some smaller miners early in in the game. But for any of you seasoned vets out there, feel free to make sure to weigh in your opinions down in the comments below. With the graphics card prices and the mining hardware have plummeted and it, it's readily available now, many new miners are coming into this space and I figured this is a great time to dive into the topic of what exactly does it take to be a successful miner? And so besides the glaring obvious fact that you have to have a couple of RGB knobs to be a successful miner and some really flashy new hardware, really all of this boils back to a video I put out in the beginning of April where it was basically an April Fool's joke where I said, I am quitting mining. It was just an April Fool's joke, but every point I made in that video was actually true. There's many hardships to mining and really that's what made my video pretty believable. People on the outside looking in see us dirty miners using our fancy computers to effortlessly print money. But the reality is mining takes effort. It takes a whole lot of effort. And in my honest opinion, that effort scales with the size of your operations. Getting started mining with a home PC or a gaming PC, it really does take minimal effort. You basically, you set up your wallet, you set up NiceHash, or you download an external miner, you set up a bat file, and you set some overclocks, and you fire it up, and you let it go. But for those of you who want the bigger rewards, the bigger bag, you have to invest more. You have to invest more resources, more time, more effort. The bigger that you grow as a miner, the more it takes to earn all that sweet, sweet crypto. I have a really good example of the toils and the troubles of a larger miner, and it comes from my man, Redbeard. If you don't know who Redbeard is, hop over onto his channel, check it out. I'll make sure to put links down in the description. Great guy, great content producer. So what he did is he went for a big bang approach. Normal people start off with maybe a rig, maybe two rigs. And my man Redbeard, he went from zero to over three giga hash in a month's time where he built out all these rigs himself from scratch, basically. I have a ton of respect for this approach, but he also learned quickly how painful, how truly painful all of this can be. And with a whole lot of dedication and a whole lot of time and effort, he got that farm up and running and he's got it running and humming efficiently. So you're asking yourself, Altered, what exactly does it take to be a successful miner? Three main things. Number one, resources. Number two, time. And number three, dedication. So let's start with the resources. Resources, you have to invest in your hardware. You have to invest wisely. With profitability so low, Ethereum going to proof of stake soon, and of course, rising electric costs, you really need to be certain of what you are investing in. Know what the market prices are, and don't overspend on your hardware. Never invest what you cannot afford to lose. That is the number one important thing from any financial aspect 
Never invest what you cannot afford to lose. Next, time. It takes time to build your mining rigs. It takes time to keep them up and running. It takes time to source the parts. It takes time for the maintenance, the troubleshooting, repairs. Personally, I check my miners at least a couple times a day to ensure that they are mining either at the pool or I can check from the Wi-Fi outlets to ensure that the power usage is proper. Downtime in the mining world, that's wasted crypto, baby. Parts fail, risers go bad, RMAs can be tedious, and they happen, they happen often. Buying replacement parts, you need to do your research when you're buying new parts, get, the, get a new feel of the current market and what you should pay for those replacement parts. Files get corrupted, your operating system might need updated, the miner might need updated, there might be new command lines you need to add, new overclocks to put in. Cleaning and dusting, you gotta keep these things clean. If you let the dust pile up on them, they're gonna get hotter. They're going to thermal throttle in some cases, and they're not going to have as long of a lifespan. So you got to blow them out. Blow them out once a month. Blow them out once every two months. My advice, pick one of these up. These things are worth their weight in gold. This is the X-Power A2 compact air duster. These things run about 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description. These things push out a ton of air. They're really portable. They run on 120 volt electric. These things are amazing. Get one of these. Next and most importantly, being a successful miner requires dedication. You have to be willing to check those rigs daily, if not physically, at least check them remotely. Ensure they're mining properly at the pool. Use your Wi-Fi outlets to monitor their power. Additionally, you need to know what's going on in the mining sphere. You will benefit greatly from being active in the mining community on YouTube. Get on Discord. Find out what's going on in the mining world. You'll get the best updates on new mining breakthroughs and mining tips and tricks. And finally, you have to be willing to grind it out when the profits are low. Know what your breaking point is. Know what you can afford. And if, if you have to shut those things off, Heaven forbid, but if you have to shut those off, know at what point you have to do that to afford your bills. In recent past, I've experienced failed builds, damaged parts, troubleshooting. I fried it. I fried the board right down here. Issues, RMAs, maintenance. I've had to do tons and tons of parts hunting. I had to match compatibility with certain things that just didn't work properly together. I have dropped a ton of time and effort into mining. I have experienced issues with rising power costs, heat issues, which I'm starting to feel already. The summer is starting to kick in. I've also had so much decreased profits lately. It's pretty gross to see that your profits drop down to one quarter of what they were in a month. But that's the reality. That's where we're living right now. Other issues lately, I've ran across toxicity in the community. I've ran across negativity. And let's not even get started onto the pain that doing taxes were last year. Man, taxes. Ah, ow, ow. With all of that, all of that being said, I have not faltered. I love mining. I love the community. I love all of you. Let's keep mining together. If you need help, you know I'm here. You know the community is here. That is the best part of the community. Let's go ahead and cut to that outro. <laughs> well, there you have it. Is mining easy? Uh, it kind of depends on your level of dedication, how much you are willing to learn, and how much time and effort you're willing to put in. If you're willing to dive down deep into that rabbit hole, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.